Today we are standing here next to this canal behind me. Uh, I am in a city called Yawindi. It's the capital of Cameroon. Cameroon is a country in uh, nearly West Africa with 30 million people. One of the poorest countries in the world. And the capital of Cameroon is Yawindi which has about 4 million people living inside Yaoundi and the average income uh, monthly is about 60 to 65 dollars a month and which is very low and uh, the people who don't have regular income even 20 dollars a month they cannot afford it but what astonished me is what I have seen yesterday after arriving the heavy rain which was there for hours and hours and hours and after the rain stopped there was no flooding in the main roads in the city center or any other uh, city. Why? Because they built the system as a poor country. They built the system of drainage, getting all the drainage of the rain water coming from this small, you see this small canal coming from the road to the big canal which you can see it down there. And all of this will go to the main river which is called, what's the name of the main river? Fundi. The name of the, the main river called Fundi. So it comes from different streets through these small canals here to go to the main river, to the main canal here, and this canal will take the water actually to the Fundi River. What we have seen over the last few days in different parts of the world, especially in the Middle East, uh, rich countries, not often in different parts of the Middle East, over the years and over the weeks before, is heavy flooding. Because we don't have this system, we have not built this system, inside the those Middle Eastern countries and soon a drop of water comes from the skies, it blocks roads, it floods the roads, it makes problems, it makes traffic jam and even sometimes it leads to people dying during the traffic or dying having actually electric shock. This is what we call nowadays when you compare those countries from this area to a poor country like Cameroon here, this what we call is corruption. Corruption now is becoming a system, a global system. Has its own culture, has its own values, has its own deep states to keep feeding uh, it, to let it keep growing and growing and growing and growing. Having its own media tycoons and media outlets, have its own uh, elite who can defend this kind of corrupt system, having all these things to keep the corrupt people leading the corrupt state and depriving the people of the state from the resources that Allah has provided them in this area. This is what we see here. When I was here yesterday, when I arrived yesterday from Tanzania, I was shocked with the amount of rain, even in Tanzania as well. It was the same, no flooding in the main roads because the drainage system is there, the canals are there, and you can see it again and again and again. The small hole here is coming from the side road, and the big hole, the big flow of raw water in the canal, and you can see it, even the water is clean, in, uh, and you can see it, uh, and going to the Fundu uh, River. As I mentioned, uh, uh, we have the resources, we have the manpower, we have the ability, we have everything, but we have a system which is feeding a system and creating a process of systems to process the system to create corruption. And this is what we have in those so-called rich countries and the past of the world when they abuse the resources of the local communities and instead of spending the resources and the, uh, on the people, they actually corrupt the people and the corrupt the resources and waste the resources. From Cameroon, which is a vital and clear example for us,